We're back for another video. In this example, I'm going to show you how to embed an infographic. So again, I'm at my Profdale's blog, profdale.wordpress.com. I'm going to click New Post here. And again, embedded infographic. And again, I'm not making this very fancy. I'm just showing you how the technology works because I know some of you were a little frustrated because you're new to this and didn't understand. So I'm just trying to be helpful, but when you do your own, you can spend a little more time to make it look nice. Again, we have two choices here with the um, formatting. I can do the text where that's where I can actually add in HTML code and they have some of that here or I can go back to the visual area where it's got um, bold and italic just similar to what you would see in Microsoft Word or um, Pages if you're used to the Apple um, or different word processors, Google Docs, something like that. So in this case I'm going to leave it on the text side on the second tab here, I've got an infographic here called The Rise of Podcasts as Business Education. And I'm kind of into podcasts, so I'm trying to encourage you all to do the same. But I'm going to scroll down. It goes through all of this information. And I happen to know at the bottom of this one, there is the opportunity to share this image on your site. So I am just going to highlight actually go control A once I've clicked in there to highlight everything and then I'm going to go control C hold down the control key C that copies it I'm going to go back over to WordPress click right here I get to go control V or I can right click and choose paste and it's going to put all of that information into my post if I publish to Prof Stales profdalesblog.com. It's going to take a little bit to think about this and then it's going to say you just published a post. Yay! View post. And in this case it happens to be a little large. So that didn't work so well but you get the idea that it will work. I might be able to, if I expand it out, uh, it still cuts it off a little bit and that probably made the video look not so great. Uh, so there's that possibility. In this case, I could go down to the bottom of this post view all in this case I'm going to click edit right here because it was too large I'm going to trash this one so I might have to go looking for a different one sorry I didn't figure that out but I will show you one other way you could do it right here I'm back to this infographic. I could right click on any part of the image. I could save image as and I'm back in my WordPress example folder where I had that shot of the Normandale uh, Japanese garden. I'm going to click save right here. It says rise of the podcast. I'm going to go back embed an infographic and in this case I'm going to go back to video or the visual I'm going to choose add media and in this case I'm going to bring up the folder and right here is that infographic I'm going to drag it out there drop the file
and it's got the rise of podcasts in there. I'm going to insert the post. And I'm also going to make that a little bit bigger. Publish. View the post. And you can see right there, that fits a little better. So that would be the second way to handle that. And the only thing that I might do differently with this is go back here Go to the top, uh, t -t -t -t. it just asks for attribution, So I'm going to go down here, edit, I'm on the other side, click up, uh, I can't quite get there. This info graphic is originally I guess was originally found on pastemarketingpodcast.com www and update I can close that again I'll go right back up here Close this one. Go to my sites, Profdale blog. Again, you can see the three posts. So we got the marketing, <coughs> the infographic. I give information about where I originally found that. Then I've got the embed of the social media video and then the photo with the caption. So that gives you an idea how to do all three of the types of blog posts I asked for. Hope that's helpful. Thanks.